hello everyone. Thanks for joining us for another homework discussion video. I'm Lisa from Shady Tree Stitches and this week we have two familiar faces. We have Nitty Nat Stitches. Hello. <laughs> and we have Jamie. Who doesn't hey guys. have YouTube, so she's just Jamie. But that's good. She's an avid stitcher and competitor in, in lots of the groups. So many of you will have faced her and an and, and, and admonishing foe. All right, we're going to get straight into daily 30 as usual, because we usually start there um, and we will go through and see how many homework prompts we can share with you and help with you. Um, and again, if you have any any particular suggestions or things you're wanting help with, just leave us a comment and we'll see if we can cater for what you need, because that's what we're here for is to help you guys out. So, all right, now, what are we I, doing? We are in butterfly week so we have um alternate stitches are, are available to us build a challenge is available to us for these for this week so those who are in the group know about it and use it um, to their advantage when they need to um each task it's it's big stitches this week 300 or 400 stitches so minimum 300 so lots and lots of stitching here we go contrary to popular perception the wings of butterflies are totally clear and the colors we see are the effect of light reflecting on the tiny scales covering them in flight they move in a figure eight motion stitch on a piece with something clear in the design and by clear it's meant something that is outlined and not filled in jamie you're first so I'll be working on Anzac. There's lots of outlines that aren't filled in. That is true. Well, I was actually thinking the same way. I was thinking of working on Anzac and because when I think of clear, I think of bubbles. And to me, it looks like Australia and New Zealand are floating in their own bubbles. Well, New Zealand looks like it's in an Easter egg, but Australia looks like it's floating in a bubble. Mm. However, I was just looking through to see if I had anything else to look at. How do you think about this garage at the top? Ooh. Because it's see-through and clear, isn't it? Yeah. Something and, that is outlined and not filled in. Yeah. Mm. So maybe something <laughs> like that could be an idea. Mm -hmm. um, or... My third idea, see, I've got lots of great ideas today, um, is actually my postcards. Oops, I went the wrong way. There's another outline. Yeah. Well, to me, that mm. postage stamp, to me, that postage mark. Yes. So that's my thinking. Mm. What about you, Nat? Okay, well, I am stitching on life is an open book london and i chose it because in the background here we've same, same thing i've got some postmarks on this big sign here um, but we've also got the outline of the tube map mm, that's look at there that. as well it's not clear but you kind of know what it is but do you know um, what else you've got that's clear in that is in the middle near the near big ben you've got the london eye and something over on the left as well that's like glass oh yeah those are glass so that's the i think city hall building london mm -hmm. london council building and the london eye so mm. there, there's an outline of those um there's also a magnifying mm. glass as well um so that's clear um I wonder what else I have in. Because it's quite a hard prompt. That's why I'm thinking the more we can help, we can give. Again, let me preface as I do every week. We have no authority over these answers for Daily 30 whatsoever. It is just our interpretation and our opinion. And that's why we like to have three of us because we've all got different opinions. That's right. Um, I think that's... Oh. Here we go. Let me share this. I've also got a sleeping bee from the blue flower. With and the wings. It's got the wings, which are clear. Um, 
what else do we have here? We've got some honeycomb as well. Yeah. There's the outlines yeah. of the honeycomb and they're not filled in as well. So some ideas there. Uh, what else is in my whip album? Um, that remind because that reminded me of something. Where is it? Uh, where's my honeybees? Uh, I can't. There it is. Same thing here. Mm, the honeycomb. Yeah. The honeycomb. Yeah. Ooh, look at that stretching there. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see the honeycomb. It's it's not filled in. Yeah. Awesome. There we go. So 300 and 400 stitches. Well. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, four tokens or six tokens. Mm. Wonderful. It's pretty good value. Um, butterflies taste with their feet. Did you know that? Tiny organs on a butterfly's feet can sense the chemical signature of anything they land on. That's how they know if it is something that is good to eat. Put stitches into a whip that has feet in the design. So I'll be stitching, or I already stitched this one. Um, Farmer's Market by the Cricket Collection. There's chickens and they have feet. Mm -hmm. Well, I have numerous options and it will really depend on what I feel like. I could do my South American angel because she has really obvious feet there. Mm. Um, but because it's, oh, and my Caprice, and when you were just saying about the, the wings of the fairy, she's also got those yes. fairy wings and she's got a pair of Nora Corbett feet. <laughs> but... I was actually thinking of doing Anzac because all those animals have lots of feet. I mean, look at the feet on that. Um, yeah, you can thing. see its toes. Yeah, you can see all its toes. And yeah, so I'm not sure, but there's, there's lots of choices there for my feet. That's right. So I was stitching. So I've already done this prompt. I was stitching on Life is an Open Book London. So back to... Back to my whip with everything in it. That's because crazy. I've got horses up in this corner here. I've got Queen's Guard with, well, you can see his legs, but he would have feet. Um, we've got a statue of a lion and you can see its feet. And not everything living has feet. So this is a sandwich stand which has feet. There we go. All right, Lisa's just popped off to the side. We will keep moving. Uh, most butterflies are cold-blooded. If the temperature drops to 55 Fahrenheit, they won't be able to fly. I'm not sure what that is in centigrade. They won't be mm -hmm. able to fly. Since they can't regulate their own body temperature, they are completely immobilized in cold temperature. Put stitches into a whip with something immobile in the design something that wouldn't move so i already did this prompt um and i did the same one um farmer's market because there is a fence in the m that wouldn't move and also the stands there's a sorry my phone is going dead <laughs> um there's also a um farm stand that wouldn't move I'm very surprisingly not going to do a house. In my <laughs> pandemic 2020, there's two huge houses there and I guarantee that they're not moving anywhere unless there's a huge earthquake. <laughs> um, I'm returning back to my oldie favourite, London, because there are, like Lisa said, buildings Houses just here, a row of houses. We've got Big Ben and Houses of Parliament again. Also the Tower of London, Big Ben. Uh, I think this one's the Art Gallery um, and uh, Tower Bridge just here. All things that are um, immobile, although there is mobility in um, Tower Bridge because it's got a drawbridge that moves yeah. up and down. Um, but... Some of these buildings have been there for centuries and they haven't gone anywhere. 
<laughs> All right. And now most adult butterflies only live less than two weeks. Exceptions are given to some bigger butterflies that can live a few months. Some smaller butterflies live only for a day, just enough for them to procreate. Stitch on a piece with a butterfly in the design. So I will be stitching on Huckleberry Farm by the Blue Flower. There is a big butterfly right in the middle. Well, I have many options for this one too, which when you start thinking about it, actually was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. There are heaps of butterflies in Anzac. You can see them all around here. Mm -hmm. So that is one option for me. But then I also have got, just pass some more butterflies. Where did they go? Um, I'm pretty sure my stitch in time might have some butterflies, but my pandemic sampler also has got butterflies here. So mm. quite a few butterflies to choose from for me on pieces that I'm going to work at anyway, because I'm doing the Crystal Academy um, spell sling off thing, spell off yeah. at the moment. And so I need to get fast stitches. So houses are good for that. Yes. I am stitching on Zoe and it's got two big butterflies in the middle. Yep. Okay, the last one is a bonus prompt. It's a good one. Stitch on a butterfly. Part or all of your stitches need to be on an actual depiction of a butterfly and all stitches need to be in the same piece. If your butterfly is less than 300 stitches, post with your ending photo how many of the 300 you put into the butterfly. There are no alternate stitches and no timed option for this. Um, there's free passes. You can't use that for this as well. It's worth doing if you've got it because it's 300 stitches for 10 tokens. Jane, so if I do do that one... Somewhere? I will probably do Anzac for that one because that one, the butterflies are in multiple places because it's on Huckleberry Farm. I'm way up in the corner, um, nowhere near the middle. <laughs> well, I would stitch on my butterfly on the pandemic, whereas Anzac will be my probably my piece with butterflies. Although I did just check this one. Um, there are butterflies on a stitch in time as well. So I'm not anywhere near the actual butterflies, but they are there. They and obviously see. Natalie, I'm guessing you're doing Zoe. Well, I actually stitched this prompt last night and this little butterfly here was 303 stitches. Wow, perfection. Perfect. Action. Great prompt. Awesome. Did we um, miss the one about the piece with the most colours? No. Am I making that up? You're thinking of a Crystal Academy prompt. Ooh. Okay. Maybe. Uh, so hang on. What have we got? We've done clear and trans clear or something clear. Yeah. Something with feet. Yep. Oh, charted with the most colours. You're right. I missed it. That's all right. It happens. There we go. It did. Uh, yes, oh, most colours. So their eyes have around 6,000 lenses, allowing them to see facets to their eyes, allowing them to see things from different perspectives. Stitch on your whip that's charted with the most colours. All right, Jamie, which one's that? <laughs> Well, I do have a few hades that are 89 colors. Um, so one of the ones that I have downstairs, I'll do Mickey and Friends. Oh, cute. It's got 89. Lovely. I don't have any of the max color ones, so. Well, I do. I have two match colors, but this is why I, I knew we'd missed it because I based my, my planning around this one. So 
stitching the sorry, stitching time, you've got the 269 or 289 or whatever huge amount of colours. Um, but I'm really weird because I'm actually going to be stitching this one in, a, in extreme colour completion. So I'm actually stitching in black at the moment and I'm just working on this doorway up here. And I'm going to go and stitch the whole lot in black. And Natalie and I worked out that it'll take me to the end of the year to do that. So that's pretty cool. Yep. So a lot it, has, of black. it has the most colours, but I'm only stitching in one. You got a cone of black at the moment? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Um, you don't need to see it. My Hayde, um Life is an Open Book London has 89 colours and that's the most I've got. So there we go. Um, and as always, there is the Daily 30 Challenge where you stitch for 30 minutes per day uh, for five days during the week on a whip of your choice. Awesome. Alrighty, and that is Flutter by Week. It finishes on Friday, yep. um, ready for the next prompt that comes along. All right, well, the next group is the No New Starts group. And we actually have something to talk about this week. We have something to talk about many weeks. But um, we just repeat our little challenges over and over so that there's not, it's a little bit of variety, but you get to familiar with it. So we're actually right in the middle of doing Scrabble today, um, where you get a point for each word you make, which is pretty cool. Um, but if you haven't started now, you probably missed out. But all of our events do go from your time to your time. People seem to have a problem with that. And they go, well, what time is that for me? It's like, 5 p.m. wherever you live you know we're not that time specific that you know we're chopping it off right on time so just work for yourself the idea is that you have 24 hours of stitching you know we just expect people to be honorable okay Taurus event starts up on the 21st goes for a month and Taurus is an earth sign so you can stitch on anything you want there's no minimums you just um, show progress I got asked yesterday, how much would I call progress? I mean, to me, progress would be at least a hundred stitches, but you know, if you do a thousand, great, whatever, just, mm -hmm. just do something. What do you have, Jamie, that you could stitch on for an earth sign? So that pretty much is anything with the ground or. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so, right. So in order to double dip, because for one of the other groups, I'm going to stitch on my oldest switch with this stretching portraits and there's quicksand quicksand and a lake and all sorts of earth elements natalie i will stitch on st andrews because we can see the grass and the land we can see mountains in the background and we can see sand on the beaches great well i think i'm going to double dip things I'm doing elsewhere and probably actually find it. Sorry, you're getting the zoom through my, my whips today. <laughs> there it is. Oops. I think it's a, such a bad photo, this one. My fairy tale town, because there's lots of ground and earth and stuff there for that one. And that's one of my zombie runs, so I may as well double dip that. The second thing, the animal for the Taurus is the bull. All right, so the bull but because i'm feeling generous i'll accept a cow now i will also say it is a bull as in a cow but bulls are names for other animals like male elephants mm -hmm. maybe male crocodiles um you know it's not about tripping you up it's about working on the whips you have so if you can justify your bull be it a cow it could be a female cow that's fine or an animal that is a bull just tell me how, and it would be okay. Well, I say tell me. It's not actually me marking it. Sorry. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what we decided. Um, so I think the only thing that I have, I mean, because a male whale is called a bull also, um, but Anzac has a very large steer cow right in the middle. So it's a sheep. that's probably is it a sheep? It's a it's sheep. sheep. So oh, I won't man. Give you the sheep. I won't give you the sheep, I'm afraid. Mm -mm. That's uh, an awfully big sheep. No, well, Australia rides, well, used to ride on the sheep's back. Yeah. Oh, well, then I won't be using that one for that. Ah, but there but, are whales. 
Yes. If you look up in the top right corner. Oh, there is. Mm -hmm. There's a sperm whale, and then there's also down by the shark, there's a tail that could be a whale. That's right. And that's also why I'm going to stitch on Anzac. <laughs> I have nothing with cows. There you go. Well, I don't actually have much in the way of cows either, although I did find some. Um, but I would instantly go here because for me, I would instantly think bull elephant. Mm -hmm. um, but a bison. Yep, a bison, a rhinoceros. Um, so amazing animal kingdom bookshelf, which comes in handy for so many things. But there is another option in here. If I can find it. See the joys of so many whips. I have lots of options, but I've got to find my way. Right. Here it is. When we had to do the cow prompt, I discovered this. There are cows up in this paddock. Oh. They're those like Herefords, they're white and black. They're really small. They're really small, but they're a big bull. And what's to say that's not a bull? So, right. so Cozy Cove has them in it as well. Yeah. Something else, had, I had had a cow in it too, but it was a surprise, but I don't remember what it was now. Anyway, yeah. there you go. I'm um, not a cow stitcher, so. No. No. Your gem is emerald. Hmm. 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 Okay. I have a green, an emerald green dragon. Yep. Oh, yes. And, and I should say that emerald is pretty much, if you look at the bottom of the book on the right, mm -hmm. that's sort of what I would call an emerald. And the dragon has that green on him too. So he's mm -hmm. okay. And there's but also not, a green emerald gemstone. Well, you, you, I would give the green emerald gemstone in preference, but my point is you can't just say it's green. No. It's going to be an emerald green, but yes, you've got the gemstone covered, so yes, you would be good there. So if I, because I'm doing pandemic and it's my color challenge um, piece, yep. so I may do if I... I could stitch with emerald green. Um, so there's a picture of it, but. Um, yeah, as long as you're using an emerald green, not a, a lime green or a khaki green. Right. Um, it needs to be an emeraldy green. I'm just looking at a few options for people. Once Upon a Fairy Tale came to mind. Oh, yes. Um, one. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely emerald green over in this corner. Um, I don't know if you could quite say those gems were sparkling emeralds, though. Um, but possibly that green. But the other one that was I was thinking of was the um, stitching time or the stitching shelf. And I mean, that whole second row is green. So I'm mm -hmm. quite sure you could find an emerald green, you know, thread bobbin or something in there to yeah. do. Just while we're talking about that i'm just looking at my floss inventory yep if let's look for emerald okay the colors yep. for that are 909 910 911 and 912 uh, there's six emeralds in the dmc range there's 3818 and oh then there's a metallic yeah. E136. Yeah, don't do that one. And, and I think the Christmas I... green is emerald B2. Yes. So, yeah, you've got to pick the right one. So you either have emerald in the name or look like emerald green. Yes. All right. The flower is a lily. So. That I might not have. I've got one. Oh, yes, you do. I've got one. Hold on. It's not there. It's here. This looks like an Asiatic lily. Mm. So, so we've got some, got some lily-ish sort of flowers. Uh, I've also got this yeah, lily. That's one I was thinking of, the scent, scent of lilies. The scent of lilies. I mean, no one's going to do that one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right, well, I'll yeah. look up some of these if you. All right, go. Oh, also, there's um, 
the unicorn tapestry as well by okay. tiny modernist there's lots of flowers in there i'm certain there's a lily in there here's your lilies right google search for lilies they come in different colors usually white or pink sometimes orange um but they that's a, it's a fairly distinctive shape the lily it's got the long leaf mm, so you have to make sure mm. yeah. um i actually haven't given any thought as to my lilies um oh, sorry oh okay this is yep fun. with my 96 whips i do not have a <laughs> lily really uh. i mean no, nope, those are more like chrysanthemum or because I was looking at Huckleberry Farm and there, mm, those are not lilies. Mm -mm. Strawberry oh, fields. My phone no. oh, I didn't think there were lilies on there. I was just looking to see. But yes, mm -hmm. they, they wouldn't pass for lilies. What about these ones down here? You might need to share the screen. Oh, sorry. I'm, I thought, <laughs> thought I'd shared already. <laughs> um these they, ones here at the bottom yeah. maybe the, yeah they look they look like they're lilies so they also look like they could be carnations but yeah but if can we you can, zoom in a little yep because the leaf structure looks like mm. it could be lily like lily like mm -hmm. yeah, not, the, not the edge ones the ones in the middle mm. um apart from that i'm just scrolling through tell me if you see any other lilies jumping out at you what about these guys no. No. I'm not a very floral person. No, you are not. No, I'm not. Does Cozy Cove have any flowers? No. It's got flowers that wouldn't have lilies. Wouldn't have lilies. Nope, those are tulips. Hmm. Nope. No. Something springy might have. I don't, what about this one? What about oh. mine? No, so those those look like roses there at the yeah, yeah you've I'm got orchids them. and no lilies no no lilies no lilies uh that's all right we keep looking you never mm. know definitely not my love in the farm oh what about your maidens of the seasons mm. let's see if we can see spring that's all I can get to zoom in. No. No. I don't feel they they look more like no. what about this one? What about those ones at the bottom? They could be lilies. They could at a stretch. At a stretch. <laughs> um I'm looking. No, they're strawberries. Yeah, I looked at that one to see if <laughs> no, no, there's flowers, but um, what about here? Mm, no, no, really. There. No, it's autumn. I know, but I'm just looking. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm going through everything to see what I can find that might be lily-ish. Yeah. As I said, I'm not. I'm not a floral person. You know, the closest thing I think I have to a lily would be her dress. <laughs> but that's pushing it. All right. Well, I think that's my only choice. So there you go. That's at least. Um, so that is no new starts. What's happening with that? And we've been going through doing the whip list check-ins and it is now the time there is over. It is no longer the 18th on any um, place on the globe. So if you were in the main challenge and you haven't done your updates, you will now be officially eliminated. So um, that's it. That's life. And no further correspondence because we were nice and we gave people warnings and chances. So that's it. All right. Um, we also have the Lizzie Kate birthday sale. Do you guys have any Lizzie Kates? No, I don't have Lizzie Kate at all. I do not have a Lizzie Kate on the go. I do, but I don't think she has a Lizzie. A Lizzie. I do have one. You have one? Well, you find yours and I'll share mine while you're looking. Okay. All right. There we go. My Lizzie Kate is Four Seasons, but there's no lilies in there to save me. Mm -mm. But um, <laughs> I'm actually done summer and spring, so I'm up to autumn and winter. 
So that's my Lizzie cake to work on for that sale. I have Birdie Holiday by Lizzie Kate. Oh, so cute. All those little it is very cute. Houses. Okay. Um, that's all for No New Starts. Semi-sane, we have got, we're in the middle of the month, so there's not a lot to talk about. But next week, um, Casey's coming back to give us all the lowdown on May, so that'll be good. Um, but your whip day's word this week is take a chance, try something new. Um, anyone doing anything new? Not really. Uh, I'm doing new things in alphabet all the time. Yeah, I was going to say all of those specialty stitches. Yeah. In the yeah. Um, I've got, if, if I was able to include embroidery, mm. I, I would say, yeah, that. But um, because, yeah, I'm learning some new embroidery stitches with my embroidery, but that's not cross stitch. So, no, and it's, it's funny the different things. So, this is my one, and I'm currently, oh, well, you can't see it, but I'm doing letter H up here. So, it's a whole bunch of different stitches there. So, that's my something new as well as my letter, or after I now. Mm. So um, then, Lisa? Yep. Yeah. That flower that's next to the L there. Is, <laughs> is that, that a lily? <laughs> <laughs> um, where's my L? It's to the left. Oh, yeah, that would be a lily. There you there go. You know. Thanks, Nat. <laughs> Doing these homework videos helps us as well. <laughs> and and I was just sort of thinking, maybe, maybe there's something for it. So we're, we're going back to lilies. Yes, but that's good. There, there's my lily. And I'm working on it anyway for Zombie Run, so thank mm -hmm. you. Oh. Flower lily, flower lily, mm -hmm. flower of lilies. I think it's technically supposed to be an iris, but fleur de lis in French is there flower of lilies. Yeah. Um, are you doing alphabet, Jamie? I am not. Nope. It's fine. Natalie's doing alphabet with Newcastle bouquet. That's right. Are I you still haven't date? finished. No, I've still got to finish H. Oh, oh, yeah, nice. it's one of my zombie runs. So I've got to finish the last of my whips in the zombie run and then I can yes. turn the, se the sequence over again and get to Newcastle Sampler. All right. Well, then that takes us through to Supernatural. So remember with Supernatural, this is about building your stash. You don't have to do all the prompts. There's 50 gazillion of them. Um, Jamie's going to read them to us just to get to the crunch. There's, you know, lots of good detail, but... We don't need all the detail at this stage. And if something comes to mind, double dipping is your game, but not double dipping on multiple things because you do have a many hundred you want. So right. it's more about, well, how many pieces do you want to work on and how many hundreds you're going to do for it? All right. So the first prompt um, is stitch on a project that features a little human vice, such as smoking. Hmm. A human vice. Gluttony. Things Ooh, we yeah. hakes. Your dragon. <laughs> we, my dragon is eating biscuits in his teacup. Could I do my stitch in time for um, like being lazy? Yeah. Well, stitching could be a vice. Well, like being obsessive stitchers like us and all you do is <laughs> stitch all day and do the housework. Yeah. Um, also, you, your year in cakes. Brooks books. Yes. Yes. Mm. Um, gingerbread houses. Yep. That's yep. A, that's a, that's a um a warning fable about gluttony, isn't it? It is. Mm. Well, and I would do my coffee Quaker because coffee is a definite vice for some of us. Mm -hmm. That's true. What about this one? Here's an idea. What about Among Us? It wasn't me. Because lying. killing people's advice. Deceit. Murdered. Yeah. Deceit. deceit and murder. Lying. Mm -hmm. And murder. So that would be cool. Mm -hmm. Lots of options there. What's next? All right. Number two. Stitch on your whip that has had the longest interruption, that is, has been inactive the longest in your project rotation. For me, that's my year in cake. Okay. And cakes. I haven't touched it since last year. Let me show you what people are talking what we're talking about. There we go. This one. Year of birthday cakes. Year of cakes. Which mm -hmm. cake are you doing, Natalie? March. Oh, you're in March as well, yeah. Yeah. I, I've sort of almost finished March. 
I don't know which one is my one I haven't touched the longest. It's it would be something that would be getting ready and I need to start looking at it for mania. It's something I haven't touched since mania last year. But I don't know what it is off the top of my head. What about you, Jamie? I've pretty much touched everything because at the beginning of last year is when I first or when I came back to stitching. So I've touched all those pieces. So yeah, something for mania would be um so any of my mania pieces, like I'm looking at my whip, so needlework ABCs, I have not touched it since probably May 3rd or 4th. I'm doing that one too. I see a stitch along. Yep, there's another stitch along. All right, what's next? All right, next one is stitch on a project with an apostrophe in the title. So I really had to scroll through and the only one out of my 96 was needlework ABCs because there's an apostrophe between the C and the S. Yay, you've solved it for me then. <laughs> let, me, let me get that one up. Let's get that one up because we haven't seen it on the big screen. We want to yeah, see you've just screen. seen it on my little screen. There's needlework ABCs. Yes, there is an apostrophe there. So there we go. Oh, here we go. I've got mine. Shakespeare's fairies oh yes there we go nice all right the next one is stitch on a project with a title that starts with a letter in angel radio or was produced by a design company or designed by a person with the first or last name that starts with one of those letters okay so we don't necessarily need to show these, but which one jumps to your mind? For me, Anzac. Mm -hmm. Straight away, Anzac would be. Right. Angel yeah. Radio, so that's A or R. Is that already? No. A-N-G-E-L-R-D-I-O. Designer, oh. company, it's really easy. It's really easy. You know, life is an open book. There you go. Life is yeah. Life. yeah. Yeah. All right, number five, four, stitch on a project that has a medical theme. Mm. It's funny, that as a nurse, be, I do not have one. It could be any of some of those satirical stitching, like wash your damn hands. Mm -hmm. mm. That's, that new Randall Spangler where he's wearing the COVID mask. That one's so cute. <laughs> there we go, saved you from a sneeze. Um, speaking of medical themes, um, yeah, the new Randall Spangler one, um, the viruses one, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, medical theme. You know, I the only thing I could come up with, which probably wouldn't cut it, would be my pandemic sampler. Pandemic, medical pandemic. plus, to me, those look like old-fashioned hospitals. Mm, yeah or if you've got something that's got herbs in it yeah so make maybe a lavender farm oh yeah. there you go so um or something with bees with honey because mm. honey can be medicinal yeah it's very much isn't very well, good pandemic has the bee hive in it so you could do that one that's right mm -hmm. yeah nice um, All there's, right. there's another one, um, the new normal, which is uh, another long dog, which is about, you know, isolation and things like that. Mm -hmm. So that's quasi-medical. Yeah, it's pretty right. All right, next prompt. Stitch on a project which you plan to not frame, but sew into a pillow, needlebook, fob, or other sewn object. I think Natalie just finished that one. Would you like to show us, Natalie? Go on. It's too far away to get. <laughs> it's, it's in a bag over there. You guys do that amongst yourself and I'll go and grab it. Yeah, okay. You do that because that's just too perfect for you, Nat. Um, right. So, oh. Look, for me, probably actually those Lizzie Cates um, because I'm planning to do them maybe as little pillows to put in a basket, just like they mm -hmm. are there. So I could double dip them by doing that. 
page. What about you? Yeah, I had one that I, the two that I finished so far, they're going to be made into pillows, but I don't have any stitches left to stitch on them. Mm -hmm. um, Here we go. So it is actually finished. One moment. I'm making you big. Oh, okay. There we are. go. So I have just finished linen down. threads. Down? Yeah. Yeah. Down? No, no, go back now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> any, any other direction you'd like? That's to all right. We've, we've seen the whole thing now. That's a pillow <laughs> of linen and threads. It will be a pillow. See, and I even bought, bought the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Serious about finishing it, fully finishing it. <laughs> yeah. All right, the next one. Stitch on a project with recycled materials or charts, such as one you've stitched and completed before. Ooh. Well, that mm. is hard. I, I can't do that. I have not stitched any of these before. I do have recycled things, as in I've been gifted a, someone's finished pattern. So I could do something that was from a gift. Um, same thing. Lisa gifted me the gearing cakes. And so I'm finishing her stitches. That's that. true. You actually have a recycle because I started and didn't like the fabric. That's, That's right. what she means. I was thinking, how did I gift you a free chart? <laughs> no, you didn't give me the free chart. I, I gifted you the fabric. You now I remember now. Hence why you've started March. Okay. <laughs> My brain's forgotten that. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Anything for you, Jamie? I mean, so because I have a Janlin pattern that was a kid and it's a holdover from the 90s. Um that I actually stitched halfway and then put away for 20 years. Um, and then that's the only pattern that I kept from the old stuff. So that could maybe because it's recycled the pattern. Yep. Oh, I'm stitching yep. that. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing I kept from all my old stuff. Yeah. So. Okay. What's next? All right. Stitch on a project you love, but which someone else might consider brain stabbing. <laughs> well, I would say maybe any Hades, because non Hades stitchers they just think that we're all thing. bananas. All the, <laughs> all the topic matter, like someone may hate My Among Us because it's a you know, cartoon so about killing people. Yeah, or you might have a, a whip that's got profanity on it. I've got a good one. I've got to find it. Hold on. I've got to show you this one. Where is it? You'll laugh when I find it. I've had a brilliant idea. Uh -oh. I know. An absolute brilliant idea. <laughs> I reckon this one. Oh, yes. Therese oh, yes. <laughs> so many blends. So oh. many blends. I think that's very brain stabbing and everyone... Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a real, it's a stitch's stitch. Yeah. Okay. What's, what's next? A stitch on a project that you're finding difficult to work on. Oh, oh. Teresa Winsler. Yeah. <laughs> one, but I've got another one, but I don't know if I want to work on it. Um, I've got to find it. Here it is. This one you haven't seen for a long time because it's on body count. Oh, yeah. my village of Pork Run Hollow. I love it, love it, love it, but it's on 40 count, so I don't love it. And I've done too much to give up, so yeah. I've got to persevere. So mine would probably be Live Simply by um, Stitching Through the Years. She has a giant white dress, and I hate stitching on it, but I love the pattern. And she's yeah. like seven inches tall. It's gorgeous. And I'm only oh. like, yeah, I'm only like this much in, but I love it. Mm. But yeah, I find it difficult to work on. Okay, what's next? Stitch on a project that features someone in uniform. No, well, the, I could double this up if I wanted to with the, the other one, but I 
could stitch on my lest we forget paddock lane designs because it has the bugler in the army uniform very relevant at the moment as we head towards anzac day that's right so i probably should do some work on him yep i don't have any with people in uniform um oh that's not that's a lie <laughs> and we are human and they have there are some people in uniforms <laughs> there you go yeah that we are humans is good for so many prompts yeah, yeah. Um, same thing, I could stitch on something that I've already got, but I've also got uh, Joy and Noel, and we've got a drummer in here. Mm. Yeah. Well, uh, on, on that line, I'm going to share mine again because I know we had this discussion earlier. I could stitch on my samurai warrior because he's in his samurai warrior mm. uniform from the king. And then if we keep going up, there's a few other uniforms that we thought would be passable as uniforms. So if someone's trying to get in, the dog. At least she doesn't have a ball anymore. That's why I went the first time. <laughs> um, so in fairy tale, once upon a fairy tale, you've got like knights in their armor. That would be a uniform, I think. Yeah. Um, and then I also had, yeah, 12 days of Christmas with the drummer wearing his little military uniform. All right, two more. Stitch on a project that includes an angel. <sighs> Joy, I know well. It's got an angel. It's got angels all across the top. Mm -hmm. It does. But, you know, I like to be difficult. <laughs> oh, really? Angels oh, look at that there. one. But I'm not going to work on that this week, to tell you the truth. But okay. it has a beautiful angel in it, and I just like looking at it. <laughs> Beautiful. Right. Um, last one, stitch on a project, which is one of a series. Well, my mm. Lizzie Kate's are one of a series because there's four of them. Let's see. And my needlework ABCs, that's, there's lots of them. And, and another one that's actually earmarked for me to work on this week, but I haven't actually done anything on it. <laughs> Go figure is my Spring House Trio, my house series from um, Waxing Moon Designs. So if I can squeeze that in somewhere, I will. Mm -hmm. Wait, who knows? Because Magical Stitches homework's up, so we can see whether any of that's going to fit. It's up, is it? It's up. It just, yep, oh, it no. just came up. Great. It just got, so, <laughs> all right, Magical Stitches. That was all for that yours, wasn't it, Jamie? What was that? That was the last prompt for Supernatural? Yes, yes. Yeah. All right. So this one's 250 stitches per prompt. Now mm. we're going to try and double dip these where possible, guys. Okay. All right. The team was rescued by a wild boar. Stitch on a whip that has a pig in the design. Ooh. We were looking for a bull before. I was going to say, is there a pig or a boar in Anzac? Um. Mm. I don't think there's a pig in Anzac. Now, can I be can I be colloquial and probably totally unprofessional, but you could do your life as an open book London. <laughs> there's Bob, <bonkers> isn't there? <laughs> anyway, that's colloquial. Doesn't work. Um, maybe something with bacon. Bacon, yes. Or sausages. All right. Oh, I need mm. you to look, guys. Let's have a look at my usual because we know what I'm going for. I don't remember oh. seeing this pig. Hmm. I'm, not seeing, I'm not seeing farm animals. No. No, oh. but I was just wondering if there was a wild boar or some type of tusk. Would, would there be anything on the big red ship of life? Oh, maybe. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Where did, I, where did you guys go? It's still sharing. A pig it on there. It's still sharing. There's a horse. It's a nice thought. Mm. Oh, lizards. Birds. Oh, nothing on Big Red Ship Alive. No. Um, it's the top. A farmyard animal. Oh, what about here? 
could there be a roast boar? I'm thinking on a banquet table or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I can't see close enough. There might be a roast boar on a banquet table. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that would be your best bet if that's what you were going for, because it's. I don't think uh, there's pigs in there. I'm I'm really not a farmyardy. I mean, I have lots of farmyardy things. Oh, hold on. No, Macintosh meal has no pigs. Gosh, pigs are hard. Yeah. Well, remember, of course, you can do your penalty. Yeah, yep, your oldest working, whip. Working on your oldest whip. Which is fine. I like working on my oldest whip. I'm just checking to see if I have any pigs. Oh, snowmen. No pigs for me. What about you guys? No pigs. I'm stitching no these pigs. up. Oh, no pigs. No, no pigs. pigs. All right, I'm writing it down. And no side. bacon. I have to write it down as I go or I forget what I say. All right, <laughs> now, oh, this one's cool. The team has to spend the night in the junkyard. Stitch on your whip that has the messiest back and 200 bonus stitches if you post a photo of the back as well. <laughs> oh, I, see, I have no problem posting the my backs you know it's a party in the front and a hot mess in the back and I, i'm okay with that i'm going to instantly say my animal kingdom because it's a hate and i've been color completing so i would say that yeah i'd have to put one of my full coverages down you know i'm a neat stitcher but the backs of, of the full coverage mm. even though i do try and cover up my stitches as much as possible they're still carried threads yep yeah so that's good okay Ah, oh, can't do my Animal Kingdom though because that's my full coverage. So I'll have to do my stitch in time. Mm. No, because that won't work because that's all black. Oh, what's going to be dirty back for me? Well, no, it'll be a hot mess anyway because you. No, it's not because I'm just going across. <laughs> um, that's all right. I'll find another full coverage that I've started and done something on. Yeah. Oh, my Once Upon a Fairy Tale. There we go. Okay. I've, I've done enough on that for it to be. Oh. Yeah, London will be mine because my full coverage piece is um, oh. Andrew's and that's pretty nice. neat. All right, Good. Deja Good. Vu, would you like to just double up with the one we just had? Stitch on a whip that has an angel. Oh. <laughs> All right. There you go, yeah, Deja Vu. <laughs> well, I'm gonna pick and joy and Noel for that because it's gonna be easier. Yeah. Um. And stitch on a whip that has stars. Oh, Zoe. Zoe has stars. All across the top, she's got a rainbow of stars. I've got a few choices. I'm just trying to think of... Um, There's also stars on Joy O Noel, if you wanted to really push that one along. That's true. That's mm. not a bad idea. Quake, anything with Quakers will have stars in them. That's true. Um, and and these usual ones that yeah, you can also work on. I might work on more on this one, although I don't know if I want to. The Once Upon a Fairy Tale has stars up the top right. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it, um, now, oh. Magic Study. Do you have that one at all? No. No, I you. think Magic Study from memory has. So people who are stitching on Magic Study might have that. Um, what about, yeah, your Christmas one? Mm, this one. Yeah, that one or the Christmas one. Oh, that one, one or the yeah. Christmas one. The um, Joan Elliott's. The Joan Elliott's. Yeah, yeah. could be snow stars, so I don't think you could argue which way. And the other mm -hmm. one I was looking for, I forgot I was still on um, share, <laughs> was my hawk run again. Uh -huh. Of course, it'd be star their stars down. That's right. Um, the Mirabilia Stargazer. Yep. She's got stars up in her in the sky for that. Um, just trying to think of some of the others. Um, cinnamon stars. Oh yeah, of course, cinnamon stars, mm -hmm. lots of stars. You have mm -hmm. any stars, Jamie? I have a bunch of Quakers, but um, one I haven't worked on for a while. I'm not going to double dip, but um, Midnight Way by Frosted Pumpkin has stars. Okay. In the top. Yep. There's lots of choices there. Mm -hmm. All right. 
and that's it. Yay. So that is our weekly homework and we got them all in. Yay. Yay. <laughs> oh, it's 1.30 in the afternoon here, so I'm excited. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, special guests, for coming along and sharing your opinions. We appreciate it as always. And and catch you all oh, twice next weekend because we've got monthly and weekly. So it'll be a big weekend of videos. So we'll look Fun forward time. to seeing you then. Happy stitching, everyone. <laughs>